My name is Emma. I like to make vlogs. I like to show my face and dance like a chicken. I like to climb things and dance in my snuggie. I also like to jump off of things for you. Emma vlog. What's crack a lacking? Dack a lacking, packing, breaking dawn. Part Uno comes out this Viernes, which is Friday in Espanol, if you didn't know. Or more like three fourths of you are probably like, ew. You know what? Shut up. Shut up. Yes, the movies suck. Major booty. It's the truth, I can't. I can't deny it, but I remember in 8th grade, I was obsessed with Twilight. Like, obsessed. And I literally read that shit, the whole series, in about, like, a freaking month. Oh. Like, Harry Potter actually has a plot. Twilight, a love story, what the fuck, what? This vampire dude is marrying his food. It's like equivalent to me marrying a cow. You just don't do it. It's just gross. I'd rather eat the cow than marry it. That sounds really messed up. Or for you vegetarians, it's like you marrying a, a salad. You know, you just don't do it. That's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's pretty messed up. It's pretty gross. Books are heroin. 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 You start reading Twilight, you get hooked. I'm just gonna give you spoilers, girlfriend. So, Bella has a baby pretty obvious from the trailer if you haven't seen it. It's the most disgusting scene I've ever read in my life. First of all, she's butt naked. Okay, that's gross. And when she gives birth, they cut her stomach open, like literally her stomach open, because um, the baby's eating its way out of her stomach or something. It's really gross. And then when she has the baby, the baby bites her boobs. It literally says that. The baby, well maybe they don't say boobs, but you know, like how they do in literature. Bouncing breasts or whatever, I don't know what the frick they call it, but they're boobies. So the baby bites her boobs and like bites her stomach and bites every- <sighs> so disgusting. And then Edward, her hubby, bites I don't even know, they're trying to turn it into a vampire. part. And like they get into a fight with the Volturi. Which is like the most boring ass scene ever. Like, there's a war at the end of this, and you're like, oh damn, who's gonna die? Who's gonna die? Because you know, it's like the final book of the series, so you seem like a main character is gonna die or something, you know? That's the time for people to die because you don't give a care, because there's not a book after this. So you're like, oh my god, I was hoping that Edward would die to make it more dramatic. I was hoping Bella would die because I freaking hate that bitch. Bella is so annoying. But that doesn't happen. I was hoping at least maybe Carlisle would die or some, some main character, but no. One person dies in this whole entire book, and it's this one bitch I don't even know. I think her name was, like, Iris. Okay, first of all, she was, like, the friend's friend's sister who we never even meet. We heard about in the book, like, the friend's friend's sister would, like, talk about her maybe, like, once, and then she dies in, like, the battle, and I'm like, I care? No. I don't give a care. It's like, oh, she died? Okay. Um, who else is dying? Nobody. Nobody freaking dies. Most people would be happy with this, but no, I hate happy endings. It's not realistic. In reality, they would have all died. Uh, pff, that's all I gotta say. I should probably go and get a life, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.